divided into 300 teams, made it to the final four-day event. The Oldsmobile Scramble is the world's largest amateur golf tournament. Every possible kind of golf shot that exists was hit on six Walt Disney World golf courses this past weekend. And the winners can truly call themselves national champions. <laughs> The usual suspects were on hand Sunday for the final round of the Oldsmobile Scramble National Championship at Orlando's Walt Disney World Resort. Men's and women's teams from qualifying sections all over the country got together to determine their best. The sun was scorching Sunday and the players were feeling the heat as putts became oh so critical down the stretch. With teams composed of four amateurs and one club pro playing a scramble format, there was plenty of teamwork necessary and plenty of skull sessions on the tee. Even the club pros are capable of missing one on the low side, but redemption is never far off when you can nail a birdie putt from the fringe. Jeff Howerton, a club pro from Madisonville, Kentucky, saw his team finish in fourth place, but loves the experience. It's just fun. It's, it's probably one of the best golf tournaments for amateurs and club pros alike because uh, they treat you like they treat me like a tour player. You know, I feel great coming down here, and, and of course the amateurs have a ball. They they just love it. So uh, we're ha we we have fun. It's a great tournament. The men's gross division came down to the wire, led by club pro Ken Kelly, who bore an uncanny resemblance to John Daly. The battleground team from Deer Park, Texas, made a clutch birdie to put pressure on the never say die hanging tree golf club from Westfield, Indiana. They needed this birdie putt on 18 to force a playoff. It wasn't to be. We just couldn't get it on the line. We all thought we were playing it out far enough and just wasn't enough and heartbreak it was. We rolled right by and the game was over. For the winners, getting out early was crucial and past experience didn't hurt. We got ahead of this golf course with a couple of eagles on the front nine and uh, I think we were 10 under through nine holes and uh, gave us a little cushion, got up on the guys and uh, that's what it takes. Three of the members were formal gross champions, I believe in 94. Uh, and that, that experience probably helped out a lot coming down the stretch. For the women, this was their inaugural event. And if the winning members of the Briarwood Country Club have anything to say about it, it will be a fixture in the future. We've had a lot of women ask us, how did we get into this? Um, and they wanted to know, you know, how to do it so they could get into it next year. So I think it's really a great tournament. Um, it's thrilling. It's, it's just wonderful to do this. All in all, a rousing success. And to the victors go the spoils. Well, you know, if you win the Super Bowl, you go to Disney. Uh, we're at Disney, we're in the scramble. I guess uh, we should get tickets to the Super Bowl. They had classy outfits, too. The men of the battleground in Deer Park, Texas, shot a final round 56 to finish at 60 under and edge out their challengers by one stroke. Obviously, Hanging Tree Golf Club gave the most chase, ending the week at 59 under. Remember, these are gross scores. In the ladies' gross division, two northern states brought home the bacon. Scalawags Country Club 61 was a good score, but not quite enough to win. The Victoria Club obviously didn't have their A game on Sunday, but still, a fifth place finish is great in this field. Kelly and I are off to a short.